Hey, how's everybody doing? Good, good, good. I'm doing uh, all right. I'm so glad it's Friday. I tell you, uh, I'm not really tired. I'm just, I'm just glad it's Friday, and I don't have anything of major importance that I have on my schedule for the weekend, so I can actually, you know, kind of do whatever the hell I want and maybe get some shit done around the house. Uh, it's supposed to rain all weekend, so I won't be able to do too much outside. But uh, I got plenty to do in the house. I'm still working on the the build-in wall unit up in the one guest room upstairs, and I can probably work on that a little bit, do a little cleaning, yeah. odds and ends here and there. But um, well, hey, we need to rain, you know, especially because I just got done planting them. Uh, uh, crops uh, this last week. I've got some corn going and some strawberries and peppers and eggplant. Well, the peppers, tomatoes, and eggplants I don't actually have outside yet. I've got them out in my uh, my gym of all places. It's on my it's on my enclosed back porch, but it's the way the sun comes in there through the morning and mid afternoon. It kind of acts as like a greenhouse. It's the perfect place to plant seeds and and let them. Uh, germinate and, and get some good growth on them before transplant them outside. Um, so I have all those, and then uh, of course I got cucumbers, and I got some uh, serrano peppers. And I think that's it for now. I might once I get all that stuff put in out there. If I got some room left, I might you know do something else, but yeah. wait and see. But this rain is definitely going to give it a nice kit. Okay, it saves me from having to go out there and freaking water on it. So, anyhow, this is going to be kind of a, a, I don't know how long the video will be. I'm going to try to not veer off path too much. Um, nutshell, I, you know, I'm a survey guy. I do a lot of surveys, different um, survey groups online. Um, I did this one survey thing. It was over the course of several days. And um, I let's just say I got I get paid a decent amount of money for for um, well doing a survey about a particular product and um, and then doing a like an online or a, a, a conference about it too. Um, that's all I'm gonna say because um, legally that's all I can say because I signed a non-disclosure agreement. But, Used to say, yeah. doubt. I got paid for my time and everything. I had a blast. I had a blast doing it. It was, it was really interesting. And um, of course, I went and and and, and spent um, the incentive that I got. Because I mean, that's what you're supposed to do with it, right? Well, that splurge a little bit. Know yourself. So this is gonna be kind of like a mix mash of the stuff that I bought with my incentive. From a survey. Um, excuse the noise. Bubble wrap. I don't feel like screwing with the tape or anything. So, anyhow, I went ahead and got one of these little wondrous boxes of splendor. Wondrous mystery box of splendor. What it's called. Anybody that's watched videos before knows that I've gotten uh, quite a few of these. Um, the ones I got before were, were somewhat bigger than this. I think they were a 12 inch box. This is a 9 inch box. Um, but it's basically just like kind of like a geek inspired box that you don't know what it's got in it. It could have sci fi, it could have horror, video games, comics, you know, all the different like fandoms you can think of. It could have stuff from any of those in it. Uh, you buy it from Toy, well, you can get it. I got it off of Amazon, but it's. You can buy it through Amazon, but it's fulfilled by um, the, the company that actually puts them together, which is Toy Nick or Toy NK Toys. Um, so if you like that kind of stuff, you can go on Amazon or go straight to their website, ToyNK.com, uh, and uh, look up Mystery Box, and you'll find this one. And they got a few different ones. Uh, if you're a big Doctor Who fan, they got one. That, that's all it is. It, it comes in a big box. It's like, it's like $99, it's 
but it's I mean it's a huge box I mean this box is like I don't know, like that wide but that's and it's like you know three feet tall something like that um, but it looks like the TARDIS from Doctor Who and that's as far as I understand that's all it has in it is like Doctor Who items so um, but also if you, if you go to like any Comic Cons most likely especially I mean, I don't know whether it's nationwide or what. I don't think they do, like, all of them. But, um, if you, if you go to Comic-Cons, most, I mean, the, the few that I've been to, actually, I've been to, like, three, I think. And, um, they all had a, a vendor stand of 20 toys, and they had a, a ton. Um. Actually, if you saw, if you watched the video that I did recently with my daughter, that was, we got our mystery boxes from 20 Toys there. This thing does not want to, I've got tape on the outside of this, and it just don't want to let loose. Oh, there we go. All right, so this is, uh, like I said, it's a nine-inch box. Um, let's see what it's got. And after that, I'll show you some of the other things I got from, uh, from Amazon for money and then I'll open some cards too. I've got a couple of card sets. Alright, so let's see what we've got first. We've got first we've got hey I don't have one of these. That's pretty cool. Hmm. We got a domo. I got a couple of little domo figures. Um uh, up here on my one shelf up here. This is a bigger one and it's called Domo Rocker. Got a little electric guitar with it. Hmm different little green mohawk so they got two different ones in this size gentleman an umbrella and a little top hat or what do you what, what do you call those little hats bowler hat is that what it's called I don't really know. sounds right we'll go with that all right next we've got hey an air freshener pine scent With Link from The Legend of Zelda. Huh. huh. I don't think I'll put that in my car. I might just put it in here somewhere. Alright. Next, uh, we got one of these little, little like key, ugly doll. The Wicked Witch of the West. Ugly doll. Uh, maybe I'll see if my daughter wants that. She's a big, real big fan of the Wizard of Oz. Maybe she'll like that. She can click it on her, her uh, duffel bag or something. Alright, next we've got. What the hell is this? It's Attack on Titan. Looks like a little lunch box. Teeny, teeny Tim's lunch boxes. Well, I'll be done. This will make the actually the first lunch box I have in my possession right now. Oh, think back. I remember when I was younger. You know, everybody had a lunch box, right? Everybody, most people had, you know, at least one of these. Because, you know, especially elementary school, that was like one of the big things you wanted. Oh, you got to get, you know, whatever it was. You need Mutant Turtles or you know, Batman or whatever the big, big item was at the time. I can't even remember. It's been so long. You know, I'm old. Okay. I'm 45. Uh, going on 60. I mean, honestly, some days that's what it feels like. So I don't remember exactly what the big things were when I was little. But, I mean, I remember that was the big thing. I think it was shit about clothes. Books, pencil pens, that was all like minuscule compared to you had to have the cool freaking lunchbox, man. So, anyway, I'm gonna assume that this thing opens. It looks like it opens. Okay, yeah. Yep, yeah, alright, nothing in it. I thought maybe there might be a little lunch in there, but no. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny, though. Make some really tiny. Make a really tiny sandwich and stuff, and put 
Um, I'll just maybe I'll do that. Make a really tiny lunch to put in there, and then I'll just I'll take it to work one day and say, "Hey, can I take a break? I want to eat lunch." Yeah, I'm fucking weird. I don't have a problem with it. I accept it completely. I should be. That's why you stay young. Is by just, you know, being a goof. Alright, and the last thing is... Cool, Funko Pop. I like Funko Pop. No, wait, no, I think there's one more thing in there. There's one more thing in there. But. Now, here we go. This is uh, Funko Pop from... Captain America Civil War, that's Agent 13. So. Looks like she's got like nunchucks or something that she's holding. Huh. Anyway, here we go. Alright. Funko Pop. So, not a, not a bad box. I mean, for, for what it was. And then we got, like I said, we got, we got a little card. And a whole lot of those things. I probably should because I buy stuff from once in a while. All right, last we've got Super Mario Brothers blooper watermelon sours. I'm assuming that is blooper right here. Uh, watermelon sours candy. I'm not. I don't eat a lot of candy, but I do like watermelon. Seedless water. I don't, want, I don't feel like sitting there screwing around picking seeds out of the damn thing the whole time. Yeah, okay, that's, a, that's everything in the box. That was the wondrous mystery box of Splendor from 20 Toys. So, now we will look into what I got here. This, I'm not going to open it because it would be pointless. I'll tell you what it is. It is a set of 100 count um, top loaders for trading cards. Thought I'd get those because some of my cards I might want to like auction off by themselves. So, bought some of those. And then for my viewing pleasure, I got one of my favorite shows Castle Season 7. And yeah, I like Nathan Fillion. I, I loved him in Firefly, one of my favorite TV shows. It unfortunately got canceled. And uh, I can never remember her name. I know it's kind of a, an odd name. Anyhow, her name is Beckett in the show, but I can't remember what her, her real name is. But yeah, I love her too. Just everything about her. I like her personality on the show. And of course, I mean, she's. I mean, she's really fucking easy in the eyes, right? Yeah. All right, and next we've got me and my daughter went and seen this at the theater. I wish we would have went and seen it in 3D. So uh, I decided, you know what the hell? I'm going to buy it in 3D. So there is Fantastic Beasts. And where to find them? In the Harry Potter universe. And even if you don't like Harry Potter, um, what's wrong with you? No, seriously though, even if you didn't really get into the Harry Potter movies, I would say give this one a shot because you know it's it's the same universe, different a different time era, and um, it, this is a really really good movie. So that's that. And then, uh, I just got done watching. This the last the last season I bought of this and we got to the course of the end and there was like cliffhanger and I was like crap now what happened because I didn't keep up with it when it was airing on TV because I'm always you know at work or doing something or which is fine I mean hey more hours more money right but I went ahead and bought NCIS this is the thirteenth season so I actually probably be watching these here in just a little bit. As I'm eager to know what, what's going on next. All right, now next, before we open the cards, I went ahead and sprung. You know, I'm not a rich guy, far from it. I'm a poor white boy. Um, even though I work a, a crap ton of hours, and my checks are fairly decent, I'll admit it. Um, you know, when you're a single guy, 
you live in her house. See, when I bought my house, I was engaged. Didn't work out. She had some problems with being, not well, faithful, to put it honestly. Wasn't anything wrong with me. Just turns out that's how she was. Yeah. I wasn't the first guy she did it to. And I know I wasn't the last guy that she screwed around. So I don't feel too bad. Um, but anyhow, when it, we were engaged, so it had two incomes when I bought the house. Well, now it's just me and just, you know, one income. I'm still doing all right. Proud to say. Yeah, my house is nice. And, you know, I make ends meet, pay all my bills, blah, blah, blah. Hey, get out of there. Dumb dog. Um, but, see, you know, I screwed up my train of thought. Anyway. Even though I make ends meet, I, I don't, you know, it's not like I have a ton of extra spending cash to do everything. So it's not like I can be like Jay Leno or Paul Walker, God rest his soul, you know, who collected actual cars. No. I got one. That's enough. I've put enough money into it already. I'm still paying my parents back for it. So, I buy Hot Wheels. As close as I'll get to having like a full garage of cars. This was the thing on on Amazon where you, you basically paid, I think it was like right around 10 bucks or yeah, it wasn't 10 bucks. How much was it? I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like six something, which is a bit more than you would normally think to pay for Hot Wheels for four of them. Because you can go buy them for, you know, a dollar at most stores. But you have the opportunity of getting either treasure hunt cars or ones from, you know, or years, you know, 80s, 90s. So, I think it's worth it. We'll find out. But I bought three sets of these. So we'll see what we got here. Okay, first we've got 1998 first edition. The Lakester car. It's kind of a weird looking thing. Isn't it? Looks like a little torpedo. With wheels. Number 12 of 40. All right, oh, that's pretty cool. I like paint job on it. Here we go. Uh, sorry for the glare. I wish I could. There's a better way to show it, or you can actually see without a glare. But there isn't, so we'll deal with it. And now there we go. Jaguar D type. Next. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Custom Corvette and Ford Steak bed truck. So there's those for that bag. Next for hmm. Hmm, this one's tiny. All right, next we've got Wastelanders Rocket Oil Special. Part of the Hot 100. It's on a smaller carded thing. Nifty. Nifty, man. Oh, this one's wicked as shit. This is the Crank It's 5 slash 5 Swoop Coop. Look at that. Wouldn't you like to have like a paint job like that on your car? That'd be wicked as shit, wouldn't it? It would. Trust me, I'm an expert in these things. Oh, this one's pretty rad too, man. Could use this one as a freaking ramp. This is the 2004 first edition. So there you go. Give me an idea. 2000. Oops, 2004. So that's like 12 years old, man. Or you know, 13 years old. Right. Anyhow. 
She is the Grooves Deuce Coop. Alright, and get where you can see it. There we go. That's pretty wicked. I like that one too. Alright, and the last one out of this set is 2004 edition, first edition, the Swoopy D9. Alright, and the last, last one we got here, oh, Hot Wheels, oh, I probably got a couple of these cars that even Paul Walker and Jay Leonard don't have, yeah. this is different, it's like a souped up grocery cart, uh, express lane. Makes me think of, uh, yeah, occasionally I have like races and stuff like that. Twin, hey, I recognize this one. There's got some stuff on the top of it. I have to try to clean off. Yeah, I think I might actually have this one, but I don't think I'm not in this color. Yeah, Twin Mill 2. Yeah, I'm gonna say mine, the one I had was like green or something. Hey, here's a duplicate. Is it the same color? Yep, it is. There we go. Custom Corvette. It's got like a metallic purple on it. So, I don't really need two of them. So we'll put that, we'll put that in the, the pile for see if my daughter wants it. Alright, and last one. This set is pretty nice looking truck. 1932 Ford delivery. It's nice. I'd love to own one of those, like for real. If I had like enough know how and enough money, I'd love to get something like that. It was just kind of you know showing its age and then just like redo it. You know, restore it completely. That'd be fun. Be time consuming and be a lot of money that I don't have, but it'd still be fun. Yeah. Somebody else would pay for it. It'd be great. Alright. I know this is this video is getting long. I apologize. If you're still with me. Thank you. If you're not, well then obviously you wouldn't be hearing this. But for anybody that decided to weather it out and waste you know, a half hour of their day watching my goofy ass. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. There's another box of oh, the Panini Contenders 2016 football cards. So let's open it up. It says there's one. Autograph or memorabilia card on average per box. So, let's see. All right. Here, first, we get a season ticket card. Cam Newton. Next we have a season ticket card. DeMarco Murray. All right, season ticket. Devontae Parker from the Dolphins. Season ticket, Larry Fitzgerald from the Cardinals. I guess these are all season tickets. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ryan Matthews from the Eagles. All 
Demarius Thomas, Denver. Doug Baldwin, Seahawks. Jeremy Hill from the Bengals. And oh, this is just like a promo thing for a kid, Super Bowl kid reporter. I don't know what that is. I don't like need that in there. I know this is very time consuming, but I like to share. All right, that was a good one. Amari Cooper for my team, the Raiders. All right, we got Kevin White from the Bears. Hey, Steelers fans, here we go. Le'Veon Bell. Carolina Panthers, we got Devin Fun Funches. Is that Funches? Is that how you pronounce it? Funches? I don't know. Okay, from the Vikings, we've got Stefan Diggs. Panthers, we've got Blake Bortles. Funny, funny last name, isn't it? Bortles. All right, Buffalo, you've got LaShawn McCoy. Oh, here we go. This is a, looks like a chase card. You got Panthers touchdown tandems card of Cam Newton and Kelvin Benjamin. Oh, right on the floor. And we got another little promo card for some app or something. I don't know what that is. It's not food, Starbuck. Go away. Get me. Hey, get out of there. All right. We got Jason Witten from the Dallas Cowboys. We've got, oh, friend Dave would really like this one. We've got Rob Gronkowski, the Gronk from the Patriots. From Cleveland, we've got Terrell Pryor, Julio Jones from the Falcons. Matt Jones, Kansas City Chiefs. Bart Starr, Green Bay. J.J. Watt, from the Texans. James Winston, the Buccaneers. And two little promo things in there. All right. Buffalo, Sammy Watkins. Kansas City Chiefs, Jordan Reed. Jamal Charles. Oh, wait, no, that was Redskins. My bad. I was just looking at the color, not the actual logo. I guess it would help to do that, since some of them have kind of the similar colors. All right, Andrew Luck from the Colts. See, if you're not looking at the, if you're not looking at the icon or the name, you know, a quick glance, like you get out of must be Dallas, too, because it's kind of the same colors. All right, Buccaneers, we've got Doug Martin. 
Ryan Matthews. The Eagles. Here we go. Demarius Thomas. That one we just had a minute ago. I'll double check. It might be. Here's a Panini reward thing. I don't know what that is. We'll keep all these little promo things together. All right, here's the last pack of this box, and I got one other box. It's a different. It's, it's they're contender cards, but they're a different year. All right, here we have Marcus Mariota and Titans. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the name. Jarvis Landry from the Dolphins. David Johnson from the Cardinals. Zach Ertz. The Eagles. CJ Anderson. Broncos. Thomas Rawls from Seattle. Andy Dalton from Bengals. Yeah, we didn't get any autographed or memorabilia cards, but that's all right. We got a legendary contender card right here. Kevin Green. Steelers. So it's not a bad. There's a lot of a lot of big names in there. Cool. Get rid of the garbage. All right. Next, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. I'm rushing. No, I'm, like I'm hurrying. No, not, I'm not. I'm rushing. You know what I mean. Dogs over here staring at me like I'm getting food every time he hears plastic. What he does is eat. Eat and sleep. Alright, this is uh, Panini Contenders 2015. And it says one rookie ticket. Swatch memorabilia card per box on average. So that means you could, some of them you might get two, other ones you only get one. Other ones you might not get any. Like in that last box, I didn't really get it. That's all right. It's, it's the anticipation, the possibility. Right? All right, we've got Dole. Is that what it is? Dole Beckham Jr. New York. Eric Decker from the Jets. We got Noam. I don't I'm not even gonna to try to pronounce that. I don't have a clue what that is. Tyrod Taylor. Hey, I know that I recognize that name. Buffalo. Randall Cobb from Green Bay. Calvin Johnson from Detroit. Jay Cutler, Chicago. Oh, we got a pennant card. This is. Demarius Thomas, Denver. Little pennant card. That's pretty cool. And of course, another little promo thing. Next. Jeremy Hill, Cincinnati. Joe Flacco. 
Baltimore. Kelvin Benjamin, Carolina, right? Is that is Carolina? Right? Yeah. Actually, I think I said one of the ones earlier wrong too. It was uh, the Jaguars, not Carolina. They're both cats. Give me a little break. It's not football season right now. We got Bishop Sankey and Titans. I don't think I've ever heard of him before. We got Big Ben Roethlisberger. From the Steelers. DeAndre Hopkins. Carlos Hyde from San Francisco. Uh, here we get a little light die cut card. MVP contender Matt Ryan from Falcons. Yep, upside down. And yeah, a little promo thing. All right, we've got Frank Gore. Colts. We've got Richard Sherman. Seattle. Carson Palmer. Cardinals. Demarius Thomas. Not a lot. We got a few cards from him. Oh, Latavius Murray. From the Oakland Raiders, seem to be the Las Vegas Raiders at one time, and the Los Angeles Raiders. And before that, they were the Oakland Raiders. And I've been a fan the whole time. Okay, we got Drew Brees. The Saints, that's the first Saint card that I got. Kirk Cousins from the Redskins. And, oh! Oh, we got a signed one. Brandis, Brandon Sheriff, Sheriff, and the Redskins. There you go. It's pretty cool. We'll keep that one out separate. We'll end up putting it in a top loader right away. Ooh. Ooh. This one feels thicker than the other ones. That's always a good sign, isn't it? Alright, we've got Victor Cruz. New York. We've got Geno Smith. Jets. We've got Josh... McCohen, Cleveland. Oh, we got the Gronk. Patriots. LaShawn McCoy, Buffalo. Eddie Lacy, Green Bay. Matthew Stafford, Detroit. Oh, we've we'll got a swatch card. Ty Montgomery from Green Bay. A little swatch of his jersey on there. Huh. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool! Who would ever thought? You know, you think 20 years ago, when you're looking at baseball cards, you, who would ever thought that you'd come a time when you'd have like signed cards out of the pack or ones that had like pieces of jersey or pieces of football on them. It's crazy. Okay, we got Andy Dalton, Cincinnati. We got Mike Evans from the Buccaneers. 
We've got a Cam Newton card again, and this is from Carolina. And here we've got a Delaney Walker, Titans. We've got an Antonio Brown Steelers. We've got a Mario Slee. Um, that's, that's the Jaguars there. Right. Aaron Foster. And the last card is Anquan Bolden from San Francisco. Right. So not over bad. I mean, we got one, one signed card, one swatch card. We got a couple of chase cards. And we got a, a good number of fairly big names out of there so it's not too terrible put all the little promo things in there get rid of the garbage alright okay alright well that's it I know this is like the longest video in the history of videos Actually, no, I take that back. Tracy's Basement, the one I follow on, they did one that was like like an hour and a half long or something, where they did like the 100, unboxed like 100 pops or something like that. It's crazy. I didn't watch the whole thing. I'll probably go back and watch it in parts or something. But So, that's it. All right, that's, uh, that's like my animal game, a mashup of stuff that I bought with my incentive um, so I liked it hope you did hope you didn't sorry it's 42 minutes you'll never get back what are you going to do only live once enjoy what I can which I'm about to do enjoy my weekend you all enjoy yours respect each other even when it, it doesn't feel like you should, do it anyway. Be the bigger man or, or bigger woman. All right? I know. It's not always easy to do. Trust me. I know. There are some people that can just get on my fucking nerves. But I let it slide. I let it go. You know why? Because any day you spend pissed off or depressed about something that's within your control, in other words, you don't have something that causes you to be that way, if you make that that choice to let something bug you, well, that's a way. That's that that truly is a day wasted. And hey, you never know how long you're gonna be here. So don't waste a day. Just some musings of your just your average Joe. That's that's the way I live my life. That's why people that know me would say that you very rarely find me in a bad mood. And even if I am. I might get pissed off for 10-15 oh, minutes. Eh, then I'm alright again. You know why? Because you know, it's not going to change anything. You either got to just let it go or do something to change it. So that's what I do. And the biggest thing I do is I just enjoy every day. I respect the people around me unless they give me a reason not to. And most often, most people are worthy of a, a modicum of respect right from the get-go. So That's all I'm going to say. This video is taking forever. So I apologize. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I said, have a good weekend. I'll see you all later.